Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's safety recap. Before we get started, make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. And if you find this information useful or helpful, make sure that you share it with your colleagues and co-workers. Well, let's go ahead and get started with this week's safety recap. Now, it's been hot, lots of rain and high humidity. This is the South. Heat and humidity can not only sap body strength, but create spiritual and mental weariness as well. With that being said, our safety culture remains strong through these busy and trying times. Stay hydrated, stay strong, and stay focused. Also, remember to be grateful for the and for and remember all the support staff that keeps our projects moving. Mechanics, truck drivers, and other vendors. They're hot too. Now there were a few safety items of note and I will cover them after a few words about overcoming tough times and succeeding. This is an excerpt from an article by Sean Lim in Stunning Motivation. In the movie, Sylvester Stallone, who starred as Rocky Balboa, told his son, The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a mean and nasty place and it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. But it ain't how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. It's how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. There are times when you will face tough times and difficult moments in life where everything seems to crumble. And of course, there are also good times where you enjoy every moment and life seems to be just beautiful. This is the cycle of life and you have to understand when there are good times, there will be tough times. It's normal and you just need to know that it's natural. When there is an in, and then there will be an out. When there is a beginning, and then there will be an end, up and down yin and yang, left and right, good and bad, etc. Hence, the first step to overcoming setbacks is to understand that setbacks and tough times are inevitable. They are a part of your life. You cannot live without setbacks. Just like J.K. Rowling said, it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. So don't be afraid of failures and don't worry about tough times and setbacks for they are there to serve a purpose. Failure is part of success, not the opposite of success. Great achievement, achievements will not come without failures and obstacles. Don't ask me why, because I have no idea about it. That's just how it works. Just look as it as a test from God to prove your worthiness before he blesses you with all the amazing success you desire. Most people are afraid to make mistakes. They are afraid, what if things don't work out? They are scared to go through setbacks and adversities. The ironic truth is that all the great successes on, are on the other side of all the failures and obstacles, and you have to overcome these failures before you can get there. Don't try to search for shortcuts because there are none. Therefore, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be scared to screw up. Anthony Robbins said that if you're going to screw up, screw up big. Setbacks, obstacles, tough times, mistakes, and adversities will never kill you. So if you're facing tough times right now, what about that? You still live and still able to read this article, right? You just need to persist, hold on, 
and get through it. Here are five principles that help you to overcome hard times in your life. Number one, all bad things will come to an end. It just can't rain all the time. The saying goes for all the obstacles and difficult times you're facing. They will just go away. Don't ask me why, because this is just how it works. Sun, sun will rise and sun will set. Rain will come and it will go. It won't stay for long. Hard times are not there to make you fail. They are there to pass so that great times will come. It can rain, it can snow, you can have thunderstorm, but all these things are not going to be forever. They will just go. Things will come and things will go and things will change. The only thing that doesn't change is change itself. Just bear with it, believe that great times are near and have the courage to go through the tough times. Number two, there's something to learn. Successful people treat setbacks as a lesson. They see it as an opportunity to learn that just looking at failure as failure. You have to adopt the same principle and mindset as well. Extraordinary people know that they can only get to where they want if they learn how to get there. It doesn't matter if they got lost in the journey. Just learn and take it as if a feedback to improve. If you start a business and, face with, and faced with difficulties, do you quit or do you learn to overcome them? You know the answer. It may be difficult when you're unaware of this principle while going through tough times. And you may, need, and you may feel that there's nothing for you to learn from your setbacks. Seriously, put some thought into it Take time to think about it. What is there to learn from the tough situation? It is your decision and your action that get you where you are. So there must be something related and something that you can learn from there. When you treat setbacks as feedbacks, things will start to change because you started to look at things differently. And when you look at things differently, you will be able to decide and act differently, which gives you different results. Thus, change your mindset and thinking now. Believe that there are something that there is something to learn from all the hard times you go through. Number three, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If you've been through a divorce, it will make you stronger emotionally. If you've lost money in the stock market, it will make you wiser and a savvy investor after. You will never grow if you've never gone through hard times. Every adversity gives you the wisdom and emotional strength you need to take on bigger challenges and experience greater opportunities. If your business goes bankrupt, you will feel the pain. However, once it is over, you will see that you are still all right and you still survive. And of course, you can start over again if you want to. The bankruptcy will make you wiser in running your business and make you emotionally tougher. There is a saying, once you go through hell and back, a walk in the park at night doesn't seem that scary anymore. Just like playing games, when your character faces a tougher opponent, he will gain experience and increase his level. The higher the level of your character, the stronger he is. It's the same in your life. The more setbacks and tough times you have overcome, the stronger and wiser you will become. So don't be afraid to fail. Grow yourself. Learn from your mistakes and failures. And this is how you become a better person who is worthy of the success you want. Number four, every setback opens up new opportunity. Napoleon Hill, my favorite, said every adversity, every failure, every heartache carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. Whenever one door closes, another door will open. 
There cannot be a new beginning unless there is first an end. There cannot be a recovery unless there is first a crisis. Do you know that the most number of millionaires are created in a recession? During a recession, property and stock prices will go down. And if you grab this opportunity to buy at a lower price and then sell it high after the recovery, you will make a lot of money. Warren Buffett, the world's greatest investor, made the majority of his billions buying stocks during the Great Recession. His philosophy of being greedy when others are fearful is what makes him so successful. So learn to see the opportunity in every adversity and grab it. Number five, enjoy the ride. What should you do if it rains? Learn to dance in the rain. And Johnny Depp said, I think the thing to do is enjoy the ride while you're on it. You can't stop the rain. You just have to enjoy it. When the economy comes down, you can't stop it. So instead of complaining, blaming, and worrying about it, learn to enjoy it. Or better yet, learn to profit from it. Everything happens for a reason. Many people give up when things seem tough because they see their suffering as being pointless and unfair. When they fail or experience huge setbacks, they perceive it as a message they are not good enough that what they are doing is not meant to be, or that they are just unlucky. They tend to ask themselves, why must this happen to me? Like the story of J.K. Rowling and many other successful people who have made it, whenever you are suffering a setback, take heart knowing that it's not without a reason. If you can overcome it, you will see that it has led you to a greater good for you. So, just enjoy the ride while you're on it. Unless you can get off the ride, else you should just have fun on the ride. In conclusion, no matter how hard the times are, believe that it is going to be over and won't stay forever. No matter how big the setback is going to be, Believe that it has come to pass and there's always something for you to learn. Tough times will make you stronger and wiser, just like playing games. If you have to beat a level 10 boss, a level 3 enemy will be a piece of cake to you. If you're a level 3 right now and you face an enemy at level 5, you will feel it is difficult to overcome it. However, once you've gone through it, you will get yourself a level up. This is life, and you just can't get away from the up and down cycle. And since you cannot escape life, why don't you just enjoy every moment of it? Instead of worrying, blaming, overstress yourself, make it a game to challenge yourself to overcome the tough times. And when you take the challenge, stop limiting yourself and embrace the hardship. It is when you make the most progress in life. You will end up becoming a stronger and better person. You will become more successful. All right, let me know what you think about this article. And I seriously hope the ideas presented are able to give you positive energy and support in your journey. All right, on with the recap. Let's talk about leading edges. Ensure leading edges are properly protected through the use of properly constructed warning lines, guardrails, guardrail system, or through the use of personal fall protection. Let's talk about respirable silica dust. Understand and protect team members from exposure to respirable silica dust exposure. Read and be familiar with OSHA silica silica dust standard and table one. Feel free to contact a safety professional with questions or concerns if necessary. Let's talk about scaffolding. Scaffolding is required to have a documented inspection prior to use, and that's on a daily basis. Now, Baker scaffolding more than one buck high must use outriggers, guardrails, and tow boards. 
You must use personal fall protection if guardrails are not utilized. And finally, hydration. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Ensure that your team members have ample supply of cool water on the job. Hydration, dehydration is a serious condition that can contribute to the development of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. OSHA recommends five to eight ounces of water every 20 minutes or so during hot conditions. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this week's safety recap. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional videos of this nature, toolbox safety topic videos, and leadership training videos. And if you found this information useful or helpful, make sure you share it with your colleagues and coworkers. And remember, until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your friends and co-workers. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field. All right, boys and girls, if you're still watching, yeah, we all have uh, trials and tribulations in our life, and how we look at them and how we manage them makes a world of difference in, in, in our success rate and our endeavors. So uh, take that stuff into account. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and remember, you can use these videos as a uh, uh, for training uh, for a toolbox safety topic or a training topic at a safety meeting or anything like that just make sure that you uh, have a sign-in sheet uh, document which video watch you watch this video another video I've got several out there several people who make videos uh, reference the video have everybody sign it make sure the material the sign-in sheet is dated and that becomes a, a, a training document that you could provide to uh, OSHA to, to show them that uh, you do training on a regular basis in uh, hazard and hazard mitigation for your workforce. Uh, anyway, if you watch to the very end, I, I was on vacation last week, so I, I went ahead and made some uh, uh, more of those little Easter eggs I've been including in the videos. So uh, take a look at them. Maybe you'll like them. Uh, anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a grateful day. I'll see you in the field. Stop recording.